we got an email here from Mecca, and it's titled, My first love is actually oh. now my second love. Please help me figure it out. Dear Neve and Max. Io Dear, and Max. Dear, right. Dear Io and Max. My name is Mecca. I'm an 18-year-old girl living in Tampa, Florida. I met this guy named Ryan five years ago. Ryan lived in Texas, and after only a few weeks of communicating, he became my first love. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. That was good color commentary. Thanks. There was just something about him. He just grabbed my attention by his sweet and caring personality. Ryan and I would talk almost nonstop over the phone, and we were texting one another 24 seven. He was able to give me the love and care I always wanted from a boy. Oh, wait, wait uh, I think that he's a girl. You think we've got a lesbian I catfish think we've got on our a hands? Lesbian talking 24-7? Come on. You don't think emotionally present Texan male? You think that that sounds fake? All right, well, let's see. Around the time I met Ryan, I was going through a very difficult time in my life. I was constantly being bullied in school and That's didn't sucks. really have anyone but Ryan to talk to, so he was a blessing. I was yours to after months of dating, I was able to convince Ryan to video chat, but I couldn't exactly see him since it was dark and he had a hoodie on. Who? Somebody who's misrepresenting that who they are, obviously. That is super sketchy. I loved him so much, but it became obvious he was lying about something. Finally, Ryan broke down and admitted he was not the guy in the pictures. He sent me a picture of a completely different guy. His name was Tanner. I know he could still be lying, but he was my first love. I still love him. Please help. She's got this guy across the country. And he's there for her through bullying. He was her life support. So let's get Mecca on the horn. She might be expecting me. I know. So don't be sad. I'm gonna be breathing she's disappointed. A lot of hearts today. Yeah, I know. Hello! Mecca. Hey, I'm Neve. How are you? Oh, hi. This is Io. Okay. He is going to be filling in for Neve. So sorry to disappoint you. Hide your disappointment. So upset. I do a good knock. I can make pun jokes. Okay. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm 18, so it's my last year in high school, and I work right now for my parents for their food truck. What kind of food truck? It's called Hot Mess. They cook like Midwest comfort foods, so like loaded tater tots, and they can wrap hot dogs. So walk us through this whole thing. Okay, five years ago, I had gotten a message from a girl, her name is Taylor. She said, my cousin Ryan was on my Facebook and senior pictures was like, oh, she's cute. Mm -hmm. um, Want to see if he can have your number. I said, well, I need to see a picture of the person first. So she sent a picture of this really cute guy. So I gave her my number to give to him. And then two weeks into talking, we actually decided to date. You started dating online. Yeah, we were dating. We would say like, I love you. So it was pretty serious. You um, spoke to Ryan on the phone though. Yes. When did Tanner emerge? I finally was like, I want to know who are you? I'm like, you've never sent me proof. Good for well, you. I mean, he said, I'll be honest with you. I'm not Ryan and I'm not the guy in the pictures. I'm Tanner. So where are you at now with Tanner? We still like talk as if we're in a relationship because we both love each other. I didn't quite fit in with everybody else. A lot of people picked on me for how I looked and he was just like someone that understood me. I'm just hoping that he's the person that says he is. You've got your life ahead of you. You're at a crossroads and we're gonna help you. You did such a Thank good job you. of being I definitive me. I was channeling me. I gotta represent. We actually happen to already be here in Tampa. So stay where you are and we will be there shortly. All right, bye. Bye. Right, bye. You wanna see the pictures of Ryan first? Yes. Yes. So that's Ryan. So you've already been told that that's not who you're talking to. Yeah. Show okay. us to Tanner. I have, this is a picture and that's supposedly him. He's holding a giant fish. He's holding a catfish. <laughs> is that a catfish? That is a catfish. He's telling you what's going on right there. Are you kidding me? He sent you a picture <laughs> of a catfish. He's holding a catfish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He looks like he's in his late teens, early 20s. What, what else do you have to show us? Does Tanner have a page? Not from what I know of. Um, I have Ryan's older profile. We know that Ryan is a fake. Yeah. Oh. It's in 2012. Yeah. I hope that my baby knows that I love her with all my heart. I love you, Mecca. Every single post it's is about you. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. GBLTQ support group. Okay, I've nice, never nice seen find. that. Nice find. What 14-year-old straight male from Texas 
is part of a GBLTQ yeah. support group. Let's go to this chat group. GBLTQ support group, people. Oh, snap. You wrote something. I love hot emo scene, guys. No, I actually never wrote that, and that's weird. I'm sexy and I know it by you. No. What? Weird. You, you posted another one. Someone's been pretending to be you. Is that a picture of you? Me. And you didn't post that? No. That's creepy. Is that this is the first time you're seeing this? Yeah. That four years ago he posted as you? He did have my info though on my Facebook. You gave him your password. Yeah. What? Because we were like, oh, trust, blah, blah, blah. Why well, gave him your password in the first place? I was young. So he signed into her account and wrote it from your yeah. account. Oh, no. Why would he go on and pretend to be you on the gay group? That's, there's another one. Whoa. This is really disturbing. Yeah, this is trippy. All right. Wow. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. <laughs> no, I mean. My head's spinning. I feel like maybe we should just reach out to Taylor. Let's do it. Surprise! We are helping Mecca meet up with your cousin. Give me a call. Sent. I feel like Taylor's not gonna call us because Taylor's phone number is gonna be the same as Tanner's phone number. Unless we should she blocks save it. his phone number. You're right. That's Tanner Wilson. Oh, oh my god, I just you. had a really frightening realization. What? I'm gonna have to call the catfish. I don't wanna call that Neve person. Anxiety. Neve is really good at that. I can do it. Great. Oh! Oh boy. Tanner Wilson is calling, and the only way that Tanner Wilson would call is if Tanner Wilson is Taylor and then catfish! Hello? 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 Hi, who's this? This is Tanner. Hey, Tanner. How, how did you get our number? Uh, my cousin Taylor. Your cousin Taylor gave you our number. Cool. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all something. I'm not the guy in the photos, but I am Tanner, though. Okay. Okay. That's, I, th I think that she might be expecting that, and she might be more understanding about that than you think. Right. Look, Mecca knows that something is up. And after years of sending her pictures of people that are not necessarily you, you owe it to her to tell her the truth in person. I totally understand why we're coming from. I totally get it, but I mean, I have to go back to work because we're getting busy right now. Can I call back sometime or something like that? Sure. You have our number. Let us know what, what you think. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, right. Tanner. Tanner is a girl. Uh, I think Tanner is trans. I think Tanner is Taylor and then identifies as Tanner. And that's why Tanner is such a similar name to Taylor. Taylor. I call somebody, I have a girl's voice, and I say that I'm a he. You could be right. I think we just have to go over and prepare Mecca for the possibility that this is a girl or that this is a trans person and see what she says. All right. We did a bunch of research. The first thing we did was we search pictures. Mm. Okay. And we found nothing, which doesn't mean anything. We know that Ryan is not the person you've been talking to. Yeah. Now the question is, is Tanner Tanner? Yeah. So then we looked into Taylor If we went down her timeline, we saw this from two days ago. Hey, just got a call. I need you to replace a shift at work. So this person, Lakeisha, seems to know her. We spoke to Lakeisha. She said she works with Taylor. Taylor. Okay. In Brownwood, Texas. So, Taylor is a real girl. Okay. Taylor talks a lot about her cousins. Who are boys. Okay. But we decided to message Taylor. Just thought, oh, well, maybe Taylor will reach out to us. Mm -hmm. The phone rang. It was Tanner. We spoke to Tanner. We heard his voice. It sounded unisex. But we don't know at this point. We tried to encourage Tanner to meet up with you, and he said that he was scared. So I asked him why, and he said, well, because the person in the pictures is not me. But I am Tanner, he said. I really hope that there is a Tanner that I've been talking to. Come on, Tanner. I can't do it, I'm scared. Hey, 
Hey Tanner, it's Max. It's gonna be okay. We've got Mecca here. She's she's literally ready for anything. And she's pretty scared herself. I just I just can't do it. Come on, Tanner, come on. I'm sorry, Matt. You wanna just crack the door open a little so we can talk? Why? Why did, why did you do this? It's just hard to explain, I guess. Yeah. I'm sorry. How many other people have you done this to? Only you. I'd love to kind of hear how this started for you. You know, at first I started talking to her as Taylor, and then I asked her the question, are you interested in girls? She said no. I didn't respect her decision of what her sexuality was. So that's when Ryan came up in the picture. So you made up Ryan for Mecca? Yes. But I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> that's not my intentions. Well, I found out something very interesting. That you added me to a group for gays and lesbians and you went on there and acted like me, saying for people to hit you up and everything on my profile. I honestly don't remember that. It's been a very long time. You used Mecca to go onto this group and post as her, so I think all of us are a little bit confused. You know, I, I'm pretty sure you do remember that, but I honestly don't. Look, we're, we're here now. Right. We came a very long way. Right. We want to give you the benefit of the doubt. There are some things that are hard to believe. Yeah, you told me that like every week or a couple weeks there was a new death in the family. Were those all true? No. You know what about all your friends that have died and stuff? Yes. They kill themselves? Yeah. Is this not an easy place to be gay? It's not. It's really not. It's just a town full of like, you know, churches. It's just, it's hard to live in a small town where everybody knows everybody. Are you out to your family? I don't know how to tell them or like, you know, come out to them or anything like that. Because when this airs... It's now or never to come clean to everybody. And it's hard. It's about Mecca. It's for Mecca. You mean so much to me to the point where, you know, I had to do this in person and come out to you. I understand what I did to you hurt you. I'm sorry. You know, I may not be the real person, but everything that I have for you is completely true. The feelings, the emotions, everything is true. And I still love you. For all you know, a broken pieces. I just need to get some air. Can you just back away for a second? Okay. Do you want to sit in the car for a Please. second? Please. What do you hope is going to come from your relationship with Mecca now? What I want to gain is, you know, trust from her again. And I understand it's going to take a very long time. And she means so much to me, so I don't want her out of my life. I never meant to hurt her the way I did. I've given everything, I've given everything.